Hi everybody, uh, my name is Bryony. Um, I work for Tata Steel. Uh, during the Erasmus scheme, we visited our sister plant in Moiden in Holland. Uh, there we got to see sort of our similar areas. We got to split off so we, I could see the specific lab that I work in, contrast, compare, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we also got an overall experience of their entire plant and other labs as well. Hello all. Um, yeah, so my name's Shane. I currently work as Lamworm Service Engineer. Um, as similar to Briny, um, I went on the same the same trip. So we visited the sister company just to get an overview of what they do there. You do hear of people going, so you know a lot of management and things like that will tend to visit uh, the sister plant for for various reasons. But obviously, we were apprentices at the time and. I can't think of a single apprentice other than through this scheme that had the opportunity to go to the and visit that plant. Um, I think this is the personal experience, like you said, that um, the main things like open your eyes to working abroad. Um, I probably would have never thought about that before going on the trip, to be honest with you. Um, networking, it gave us lots of networking opportunities, both within the company and externally as well. And then, also, um, yeah, the sharing and learning that, that it offers you, you know, is, is, is great. And, and equally as well for, for myself, the confidence side of things, it, going away with a group of people you, you don't even know to a new country is a big thing for myself. So it helped boost my confidence. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely just widened all of the possibilities I think you think you can achieve. And I think it definitely widens that. Like, you know, as you mentioned, you think, well, you know, I could I could work in Cardiff or I could potentially work in London. I think, well, yeah, I could, I could work in Holland or, or anywhere. You know, it's, it's the skills you have are so adaptable and it shows you that you can apply them anywhere. And, uh, you know, just from a pers personal perspective, it's made my communication skills so much better you know after experiencing barriers such as language and you know people who work in a very different way to you because the I think people's mindsets just from being in a different country the way they approach things is just so different and that's bettered my communication skills on how to approach projects or just asking people to help or have a look at something and that's, that's really made a massive difference not to mention you know you know I've, I've been able to put this uh, work experience, which is invaluable on my CV. I've been able to, sp to speak about it in job interview scenarios and all that kind of stuff. And it's a really, really great experience. Obviously, we had notice uh, before we went out to Holland. So I was able to sort of start planning a project um, at home in Patalbat uh, before going out. So I could collect some data and have a look at some equipment, speak to some people. And specialists out there that I was able to develop um, more for a, like a database and a, like a calculation that we were having some trouble with at home, which has now been put in place. Um, but it's not just been that project. Um, we've been I've been able to, you know, short term, there were smaller projects, equipment that we sort of wanted, didn't know whether it would be applicable for us, all that kind of stuff has worked. But longer term as well. So, you know, two years down the line, I'm still communicating with people that I met over at Moiden. And also, I think they, they, as a company, they help from me as well, because I would recommend things to them too. So, you know, things I think maybe we are doing better. Similar to Bryony, quite a few things, to be honest. But the main one for me that stands out is um, I'm currently implementing um, a Drossy manipulator. So just to give you a bit of background, um, I most primarily work on the um, galvanizing line, um, the Zodiac at uh, Lamwin. Um, so got a lot of experience around that area. So obviously going out to Moyden, I wanted to visit that that area, which we did. Um, and then from that, um, I was able to talk to the guys there, you know, interact and learn from each other. Um, and one of the bits of equipment that particularly interested me was the what we call the Drossy manipulator. So on the pot, it's like a zinc bath that the strip passes through to coat the strip steel for the corrosion properties on cars etc um on on that um you get uh, impurities from things like oxidation and the low melting points um so obviously these impurities have got to be removed um now since certainly since i began and way before this always been removed via job specific spoons which is very labor intensive 
um, and also you stood next to 500 degree molten metal so it's, it's very dangerous and also very time consuming to be optimizing these people on other processes for example um, so obviously seeing this new um, machine if you like that takes this um, need for manual labor and putting you right where the danger is away um, I got really involved with that and, and took the ideas back home I've since been able to do um, a concept analysis. I put a project proposal and all forward to the engineers and managers here at Lamwin. And uh, I'm now running with that project. We focus a lot on work and what work was like out there and how was work affected and how was your personal work you know, affected. But it's a, a lot of the experience was just, it was just, it was just a fantastic experience work aside, you know, we were able to, you know, experience the Dutch culture, all the kinds of, you know, their food, how they lived. We did, you know, lots of different trips uh, to the like flower making windmill thing. And we went to the beach with a group of apprentices that worked there. So all that kind of stuff was just like amazing to be a part of. So work aside, I, you know, anybody who does have the opportunity to do something like this, I encourage anybody to go for it because honestly, all of us had such a good time. For myself as well, I think being able to put it on like your CV and applications. So I recently last year won the Welsh Government Apprentice of the Year. Um, and I think that was directly, to be honest with you, off the back of this, um, you know, it was giving me this new project, which I just spoke to you about. Um, brought me into contact with new people um, and just generally yeah I think you know if it weren't for this experience I wouldn't be where I am today so